Hi guys and welcome back to my channel in the arrow with the O'Hare. Uh, so today we'll be doing an another unboxing video. Um, so let's just get into it. So this is the WestJet 787-900 uh, Dreamliner. Uh, so looking at the um, top of the box you can see it says Genemite Jets. Made for collectors by collectors. And there's a computer... Um, generated uh, image of the aircraft. Um, to be honest with you, uh, at, when WestJet announced that they were getting a Dreamliner and that was what it would look like, I was not like liking it because the thing I like about uh, WestJet's uh, you know, um, seven triple sevens. Sorry, <laughs> what am I saying? Seven three sevens is that um, the wing tips they always, you know, uh, connect to the colors on the tail. Um, so that always like looks cool to me so uh, when they announced they were getting an aircraft that doesn't have winglets I wasn't too happy about it um, I've I've always wanted to have their uh, model of their 767 um, but I've been searching for a while and uh, I can't seem to find at a good price now. <laughs> At that time it was a good price but now it's uh, very high for the 767. So uh, if you guys know where I could get that um, please make sure to comment down below with a link and uh, maybe I'll check it out because I do love their 767. Um, so now when I actually saw the aircraft in person over time, it took a little while, but not that long. Um, I did get used to uh, them having the 787 uh, Dreamliner 900, um, and it is a beautiful aircraft. I realize that now. Um, and I love their new uh, logo as well. Uh, it's very. Uh, uh, upbeat and modern and it's um, it's really cool so let's just continue with uh, the unboxing <laughs> WestJet logo there their new uh, WestJet uh, logo colors I guess you could say it's a 1-400 scale diecast aircraft model and we're gonna take a look inside so there's the aircraft we'll pull it out uh, shortly and uh, analyze it so at the top, uh, when you fold it up, maybe I'll put it down like that, um, you get the information about the Boeing 787-900. Um, and then you get the information about this aircraft, its specifications, um, uh, things like uh, takeoff weight, cruising speed, range, seating, and uh, the lengths of the actual size of the aircraft and um, so I'm going to close that and looking at the bottom Genemite Jets and information about Genemite Jets that is one 400 scale die cast model highly collectibles uh, superior quality uh, uh, realistic metal landing gear detailed printed graphics as real as it gets uh, features and then looking on the side you which I'm covering with my thumb would be the barcode and the price and then this is the item number as you can see at the bottom there Jenna uh, my jets WestJet uh, Airlines 1847 is the item number and then uh, you have a Computer generated image of the aircraft, Boeing 787-900. Looking at the top, is the same thing as the bottom. Uh, 
uh, about Genomite Jets. Uh, and uh, there is uh, the barcode. And um, the only difference here is as it gives the warning. So there you go. And then looking to the left hand side, Genomite Jets logo, uh, 1400 scale diecast model, item number. WestJet uh, 78 uh, Boeing 787-900 and uh, computer generated Avenger the aircraft. And then looking at the bottom is you have all this information about Genomite jets, their logo, computer generated Avenger the aircraft, and flight uh, um, climbing, uh, climbing, and uh, as real as gets more. Im Info about Genomite Jets. It's official product licensed. Uh, uh, product is licensed by Boeing, uh, and is registered trademark of WestJet. And 2009 Genomite Jets. And then so let's just look at the model now. So as you can see, uh, the box is slightly damage that's how I originally got it There's the top, and there's the plastic to protect it. Let me get the plastic off there. And there is it. The, sorry, there it is. Uh, what a beauty it is. Uh, the landing gears, first of all, they do roll. And uh, it says proudly Canadian with the Canadian uh, flag there. Uh, WestJet nice and big. Uh, the cockpit windows, very detailed. Co uh, front emergency exits. And the engines are also very detailed. Uh, let's take a look inside. Ooh. Well, you can see the now when I zoom out. And uh, this time the camera is in focus, so that's amazing. Uh, front cargo door. Uh, sorry, you can see there slightly as well. There's the lamp. Um, uh, headlights or landing head uh, landing lights and then uh, wing tip very detailed and you can't quite see it but this uh, it has a green dot um, <laughs> it's hard to see there um, oops the uh, uh, sorry the Flaps and speed brakes are also very detailed. And then looking towards the back, it says Dreamliner. Uh, you have the back emergency exits, and then you have uh, it says Boeing 787 900. And the registration is. Uh, I'm gonna have to lift it one sec. Registration is Charlie uh, Golf. Uh, unicorn, sorry, you as an unicorn, um, Delta, and, uh, Henry. So, to confirm that C-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G
uh, UDH. And then looking to the other side, uh, the left hand side, pretty much the exact same thing, except the only difference is it says in English, the spirit of Canada. Uh, right there, spirit of Canada. Watch that, probably Canadian. Uh, front emergency ex uh, it's, uh very detailed engines again and looking to the back end side uh, very detailed once again and you do not have the registration on this side nor does it say 787 Dreamliner or Boeing and looking at the bottom sorry I know you can't quite see the bottom right now there we go. Uh, you have the rest of the WestJet colors going through to the bottom there. The engines, uh, you can see the WestJet colors. It says Genemite Jets logo, landing gears, they do roll a hole f uh, for the stand and um, the front landing gear doors and landing gear. And then you have the registration, uh, Charlie Golf. Uh, I think it's Yulu, I'm not sure, but I'll go with Unicorn like uh, before. And D as in Delta, and H as, um, what did I say, H as uh, Hector. I guess let's go as H Hector. And then looking at the top, uh, you can see the antenna there and then this is the radar or I think it's the Wi-Fi I'm not sure I s still had to learn about what these are I always see it on the planes and then you have the back antennas and I believe there should be an antenna underneath oh no but there isn't okay it's quite fine very detailed wings uh, speed brake flaps very detailed so I I really love this model um, I do plan on getting another one uh, from uh, aviation world but uh, this this is uh, quite a beauty so uh, that's it for now hope you enjoyed this video make sure to smash that like button comment down below um, you know send me links where you have uh, found um, the 767 uh, WestJet um, one F1400 scale of course and um, until then uh, subscribe if you haven't already and destroy that notification bell so you know when I upload a video and see you next time